What's up everyone, it's Amanda. Now a couple of weeks ago, YouTube launched YouTube Red, which is their paid subscription service, and I've already done a video on that, so make sure you guys check that out if you don't know what YouTube Red is all about. And in addition to all the features with YouTube Red, they've released a new app called YouTube Music. And once you've got the app downloaded and you've signed into your Google account, it's gonna take you to your homepage, and it's creating stations and recommending songs for you based on all the music that you've watched and listened to and liked on YouTube. The center selection has a little fire flame emblem and that's giving you suggestions of what's hot and new music that's been released and things that are trending and just all different types of music. And then your final selection is a big old thumbs up for songs that you've previously liked and it lets you scroll through all of them and maybe you've heard a song and you liked it and you want to go back and find it later on. Here at the top you can hit play and it'll just start playing all the list of songs that you've liked. There's also a toggle at the top right and you can switch between audio or video mode. So I'm gonna tap these three white lines at the top corner and the first thing I'm gonna go to is offline mixtape. Now YouTube's automatically gonna add 20 songs to my device and it's gonna download them and I can adjust this in settings to make it either longer or shorter. So I'm gonna hit make my offline mixtape and it's automatically gonna start downloading those songs and adding them to devi my device. And at this time, I'm not 100% positive if the songs are curated from songs only that you've liked or suggestions also. So while those are downloading, let's take a look at offline settings. We have toggles at the top for offline mixtape, save over Wi-Fi, and then there's your storage limit. And you can slide this all the way depending on how much storage and space you wanna allow. Next up, we just have our basic settings, which has another shortcut to offline mixtape, your privacy, your YouTube Red account, and then about. So let's go ahead and test this out and play a song. Now I don't have the fastest Wi-Fi, but it actually loads up and plays pretty quickly. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause that so I don't have any copyright issues going on here. But from here, you have options to play, pause, you can like or dislike it. I'm gonna go ahead and click like and see what that says. So it tells us that liking makes us better. So it's kind of like Pandora. Um, it adds more songs to your suggested list the more you like and tailors it more to your likings. You'll also have the option to share. You can send the link in a message and things like that. And then here we have an explore tab which gives you suggested songs based on the song that you're listening to currently. So all this is new for me just like it is you. I just downloaded this today myself. But if we take a look at the very bottom, it says Endless Music by Dead Miles, Zed's Deed, Emancipator, Flux Pavilion. I can't even hardly read all those because I'm really far away from the screen. But if we scroll up at the top here, there's a little settings toggle that you can see. And it brings up this, it kind of looks like cover flow. And then it gives you a slider in the middle and you can adjust how many groups or songs. Um, at the top you can see station variety, balanced, more variety, and it lets you toggle through there just to kind of get it set where you want it exactly. And once you fine tune it to where you would like it, just hit OK and it backs you out of there. Now while the song is playing, if you turn it into landscape mode, you can see that it does fill up full screen and takes away all the different settings and all that stuff. So you can just see the video and it does continue playing in the background just like it does with YouTube Red in the other YouTube app. Also, if you take notice, there's three dots on each of these songs or suggestions, and you can tap that and hit either not interested or save. And also a couple other features that I wanted to test out was I wanted to use my Apple Watch and see if it would pause and play and control all the music, and it does everything just like you would expect it to with any of your other music apps. And I ran the same test on my Moto 360, and this is the Moto 360 second generation running the iOS Android Wear app, and I have complete control over everything just the same as I would with my Apple Watch. So that's it guys. That is the new YouTube Music app, which I think adds some value to the $9.99 a month subscription for YouTube Red. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.